What even is breakfast cereal and why isn't it 20 eggs? Yes, 20. Well, it is. Behold, the birth of my very non-traditional breakfast cereal, or at least this is my very rough historical reconstruction of the event. It's hard to know exactly what happened because I'm pretty sure I was drunk when I came up with it. Regardless, this moment in beautiful Macon, Georgia was momentous. The modern breakfast cereal industry that we know and love today was sponsored by Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, truly one of the weirdest doctorates in food history. And the stated purpose of Dr. Dr. John Harvey Kellogg from the outset was to not only satisfy your sexual appetite, but to also deaden your drive toward self-abuse. Anyway, here's how I do my very non-traditional breakfast cereal. By candlelight, I get a little coal or wood fire going in my stove because, of course, I don't have electricity yet. Then I put some whole or roughly milled toddlers on the boil, and it takes mm, at least 45 years for them to soften. And then, no! Just buy it from a factory! People all over the world have had brilliant breakfast tricks like that for generations. Anyway, here's how I really do my very non-traditional breakfast cereal. First, crack in 20 eggs. Yes, 20. Then boil the grains like Henry Perky did to soften them up. Then roll the boiled grain out with a rolling pin, still pretty sticky, but I scraped up these pieces, baked them hard under the broiler, what Brits would call a grill. And then I had my breakfast cereal. Yeah, that's not as bad as it looks. Anyway, Dr. Zweibach had a sexual appetite. Or Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. And Kellogg is a guy whose scientific, medical, and religious philosophy of pleasure denial really quite often crossed the line into sadism. This was a good thing in the natural context for which the human body evolved. Imagine that you and your ancient hunter-gatherer buddies wander into a wild John Harvey Kellogg, you shove as much shot Italian sausage is down your gullet as you can. Your body recognizes this as a rare opportunity to satisfy your sexual appetite. And then it makes you hungry again like an hour later so that you will stay in that John Harvey Kellogg and keep eating the hot Italian sausages for as long as it lasts. Prior to the invention of big Italian sausages, porn was a huge pain to make. Picture it. Say you're a typical mom on a family farm in pre-industrial agrarian times. You need to feed your family something when they wake up so that they can go out and toil in the fields. They need body fuel. So in order to cook for them, you're gonna have to shoot corn at least an hour before they do. No! The Industrial Revolution was 200 years ago! There is always fruit on the branch.